In this video, we're going to be continuing our five wide kind of free mini scheme here on the channel. And we're going to be talking about the empty Y flex out of the Steelers offensive playbook. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the second play in this formation, and I absolutely love this empty Y-Flex formation because I think it can just do a lot of really good little things for your offense. Now in this video, we're talking about the deep dig play out of the empty Y flex. I think this is honestly the best secondary concept um, that you can have. And we're gonna use this um, and basically create a really unique little passing concept that you can use from five wide. That I think you're gonna really enjoy. So let's jump into the video and uh, we're gonna go over deep dig. Now in defense, I've got kind of the meta Mabel set up uh, to the outside here. So you're going to see we're going to be running basically uh, Mike Blitz 3, which is what everybody runs. We're also going to be got, we've got some other plays so if, we, if we need to show you some other coverages. We do have those in our arsenal. But what I want to start with here is I just want to show you the routes. And I want to show you this deep out route to Mike Evans. Um, if you take a look at this um, against this, you're going to notice that um, it gets really deep. It's actually a really deep out route. It's an out route that is traditionally, um, it's not a smart route out route. It's a stock like 10 to 15 yard out route. The reason that I like this so much is because I can pair it with a couple of other things that I already want to do anyway, and I can create a really effective uh, out route. So what I can do with this is I can simply take this triangle receiver and streak him up the vertical seam. And what you're going to see is this is going to open up a ton of room for this out route to just be consistently thrown against pretty much anything that the defense is going to do. I love these stock out routes this year. I think they're really good, especially whenever you pair them. And what I mean by that is a combination, a streak combined with an out route in this year's game is really, really effective. So what you're going to see is I'm just going to literally just simply streak the triangle receiver. Now, you can, if you want to, um, you can actually motion him in. The reason I like to do that is it just helps kind of create some space. You see I created a lot of space over on that left side to be able to throw this ball. So then I throw it and bam. The one reason I don't like that though is as you can see, um, sometimes the, the outside third, it won't be in the right grid within the defense. So sometimes it can do um, just a little bit of damage that way, okay? So that out route is really good. Um, the reason I also like the out route is because what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up this vertical seam and so You'll see here, if there's no safety up the, up the seam, you can inside pass like that all day long. Now, I wanna go ahead and kind of start with, uh, by saying it is very, very likely, um, depending on the opponent that you're playing, but if they know what they're doing out of this defense, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take that seam right away. It's very, very likely that that's what they're gonna do. So what I like to do, um, in, in basically in, con in contrast to that, is I really like to just simply drag my tight end. And the reason I like to drag my tight end is because I can just basically throw this right now and get up field for an easy five to 10 yards. The other reason why I like this so much is it, is it basically is going to hold the curl flat zone down because the, the out route doesn't break for a while. The out route doesn't break for a long time within this play. And so we really are gonna force their user to have to stay on this left side of the field, which is what we want because we have a three by a, a, a three wide receiver set to the, the back side. So if you watch this out route on this play, you're gonna see that curl flat. See how he kind of gets sucked into the middle? That's huge for this offense, absolutely huge. So let me just show you uh, what I'm talking about in this real, instant replay, just so that you can get kind of an idea of what's going on. So um, you see this guy right here is in a purple zone. So he's in a curl flat zone, but watch right here. As soon as the tight end comes into his grid, into his uh, zone grid, which every zone in Madden 21 and every zone in Madden 22 has a specific zone grid or a margin of which they are supposed to cover. And he comes into that, into that grid right, that 10 yard and down grid. So what you see him do is he drifts to the middle and now look at how wide open this space has been created for the out route. Now, let me show you uh, what this looks like if they use a different type of zone. I'm gonna use seam flats. I'm actually gonna use seam flats from the outside uh, safety just to kind of show you what that looks like as well. And what you'll see is the seam flat should suck in. Uh, see, see how he sucks in just like that? Now he did play the out route 
but I my timing was a little bit off. I just want to show you the instant replay and just kind of show you what the seam flat did as opposed to the curl flat. Because I think it's a big, um, it's just a really important distinction. So if we jump in instant replay, what you're going to see um, is when we throw this, look at the seam flat. Watch what happens. The drag comes right there. You see him move to the inside. Now, this is where the timing issue came. I threw this late, but I need to be throwing this ball out right in this window right here. Okay, I threw it a little bit late and it allowed him to come back on the ball. See, I didn't throw it till about right here, which is way too late because you see the drag, that what the drag is doing, it comes into his grid. And if you watch his eyes, he's actually watching the drag. He's not watching the out route. The drag, actually, if your timing is off with this, this is why it's so important to have good timing. If your timing is off with this, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to check it down to the drag because the drag is going to run the purple zone into the out route, as you can see right here. He runs him right into the zone, and as you can see, he's able to make a play. So let me show you, let me show you that again, and let me get the correct timing on this. Um, and I'm actually going to send a little bit of pressure just because I want you to see it. So it's going to look basically like this, right? there um whoops guess i guess i messed up maybe you just hit the drag against this i'm pretty sure i'm let me try it one more time but once he sucks in from the drag that's really where we we get this opening sucks there and i guess he's gonna swat it so just hit the drag it's no big deal um you got a high low between the two of them the other thing you can do if you want to is you can just simply curl the square receiver but i really like this out route a lot um so if they have a seam flat on the field um from the safety specifically. So let me show you a seam flat now to the linebacker, just so that I can really reiterate, like there's a, you wanna understand that there's a very specific adjustment that they have to do to stop this. It's not just, oh, they just call cover three and they stop it. That's not gonna work in this offense. So here, this is a seam flat. See how he sits, see how he sits out there? So if I pass lead that on the cut, I should have um, a decent window to be able to hit it. Seam flats are interesting because seam flats do a little bit better of a job against some of the interior routes. The problem with seam flats is they do a terrible job, uh, in my opinion, with routes to the sideline. And so you'll see right here, it's wide open. Part of this is because linebackers don't jump. And again, if you just want to hit the drag, that's completely fine. Um, and then what you can do off of this, just really quickly, is now this is going to begin to open up the back side of the uh, the back side of the play. So their user has to climb the vertical with triangle to be able to be successful. So now what you've got on the back side of this play is this nice. 15 to 20 yard dig route coming and you just basically pass lead that up and as you can see it gets in a really soft spot within the zone coverage this route's also going to be man coverage as well now if they are lackadaisical in their coverage and maybe they're in a cover two um, what i really like about this play is this is a nice play against cover two because what you're going to see is that their user will oftentimes go with the triangle receiver, but this R1 receiver is the main receiver we're looking, we're looking to take advantage of against cover two. So if they're in a cover two where you get this split safety type coverage, which I don't really, I just honestly don't think people are going to run that um, against this specific play or this specific formation, just because this route is so good and it's so popular. But as you can see, we're able to just absolutely kill the cover two uh, for a one play touchdown. The other thing that I really like about this play um, is if you're playing someone that is running a lot of like press, like shaded down man to man, this is a great play for it. Cause if you take a look at Scotty Miller, you're gonna notice that he doesn't get pressed out of this. So if they're shading down, you see they're gonna take this false step right off the, right off the snap and I can just pass lead inside and I'm gonna absolutely kill the shaded down man to man coverage. So if you're getting some of that, this is also another really good play to go to, um, to be able to deal with that situation. Um, so yeah, this is just a really fun play. It's a really successful play, I think. The one thing I would say is cover three, um, Mabel. So, and, and I don't suspect that you'll, I mean, you will get cover three, but I want you to watch this R1 streak. So you see how he kind of angles inside. If I step up, I there's kind of a window to hit it, but it's just not, it's not super, super clean to hit that against the, against that. Uh, coverage so that's just something to be aware of and then uh, one last thing I want to show against the cover three and if you want to get the full five white scheme just shoot the word uh, or just text me uh, my number is 208-218-6900 yeah I couldn't I couldn't get that to work so no big deal just run it as I was talking about it uh, and then I didn't show um, like like off man so shaded down man, you're looking to hit your slot. 
But the cool part is against off man, uh, off man typically doesn't do too well against this low, but like this out route. Um, so what you can do is you can easily just like right on the cut, like as soon as they basically, as soon as they, uh, as soon as they cut to the outside, you're just going to basically anticipate this throw and you're going to throw it with an outside and down pass lead right there. And that's what we're looking for against the man coverage. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to get the entire five wide offense, or if you just want to get any of the schemes that I've released, I've released over 21 schemes over the course of the Madden 21 season. All you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, and you'll be able to sign up for the free playlist. You'll get all the videos that I've done prior, and you'll also get all the videos that I'm going to be doing in the rest of Madden 21, as well as in Madden 22. We release free offenses and defenses every single week to my members, so be sure to just sign up for that. It's completely free, and it's always going to be, and all you have to do to sign up is just simply text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.